بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نحمد و نسلی اللہ رسول الکریم آنرابل حسن اقبال فیڈرل منسٹر فار پلاننگ اینڈ ڈیولپمنٹ اینڈ ریفارمس مسٹر النور جیوک چیف ایڈوائزر پریزیڈنٹ آف ٹرکی مسٹر طیب اردوان چودھری محمد شفیق پروونشل منسٹر فار انڈسٹریز Mr. S. M. Munir, CEO, TDAP, and Chairman Dean Group, and a long-lasting uh, patron of UMT and ILM, Mr. Uh, Basit, Chair, President, Lahore Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mr. Tukhar Ali Malik, the spirit behind the business houses, business associations, chambers, federations, SARC, and whatnot in Pakistan. And once again, a long-lasting, long-standing friend of UMT. He has seen us taking birth. He has seen us maturing. And he has seen us rising to this point. Uh, Chairman Tunziat, Mr. Uh, Sardar, uh, Mr. Yashar Dogan, Consul General of Turkey, Mr. Sardar Dennis, and Excellency, the Ambassador of Australia, High Commissioner of Australia, uh, Ms. Margaret M. Uh, Adamson. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, leaders, and executives from the world of business and industry, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Let me once again welcome from the core of my heart to all who have traveled to Lahore, many maybe for the first time, and from across, from abroad as well as from across the country to participate in this conference. Uh, when we took up this idea and approached the businesses and industries that we are thinking of organizing a fair and exhibition. So they resounded with their skepticism that why a university would do so? Why, what's, this is not your business. Why you want to do that? We already have many going on within our trade association, within our trade. And since Lahore Expo has come into being, there, there's, it is frequented by exhibitions are focused upon various trades and specializations. But then there was a need, and I think I would be supported by Hassan Iqbal as the inspiration is contained in his document of vision that he has shared with the country once when he was the federal minister back in the 90s, and then again he reinforced that. And that is about developing the economy, transforming the economy, and converting it from an economy absorbed with, the, with, the, with making and producing to a knowledge-based economy based upon tech, high tech, high technology, and information sciences. So we need this transformation and this is a strategic transformation which cannot be actualized within the business and in the, within the efforts from the efforts of business and industry alone it needs a convergence of all leading players within the nation convergence among the policy makers governance shared by business and industry reinforced by academia, supported by civil society, and then together aligned by, aligned with the priorities and preferences of business, of, of young who are aspiring to have a successful career in their life and in their future. Sir, what we are trying to do here is to ignite and inspire the young minds for, for their success and future 
and we want to drive their imagination towards export-led economy, information-based economy, knowledge-based economy. We believe that Pakistan has a tremendous potential and are these young minds, this young talent is no less than any in the world and we would like to help them launch themselves in a career where they are linked globally while they are acting locally. Where they are exchanging goods and services at a global level and they define themselves, they define their businesses, they define their enterprises and they unleash their entrepreneurial careers at a global scale, thinking of the globe as one world. Australian High Commission was here. Madam, I would, I would not be wrong if I, if I would say that at least 50 to 100 UMT graduates are right now in business and in workplace in Australia. And same is true, same is true for almost all, the, all over the world. We have 14,000 alumni, and out of these 14,000, at least 7,000 are abroad. They are working in Saudi Arabia, in Gulf, in New Zealand, in United States, in Europe. It's, they are spread all over the world. That has led us to also think globally, and recently we have set up an institution for human capital uh, towards to con contribute towards human capital formation and to relate ourselves to the Manasseh region, Middle East, North Africa and South Asia. So we have set up Institute of Knowledge and Leadership in Dubai. We have set up an office in Ankara so that we can offer courses for human development to the Central Asia and Europe based in Turkey. So UMT wants to gear itself to be partner with in this revolution of business transformation. We would like to contribute towards the development of SME sector. They, are, they have successes, tremendous successes, producing something here and then selling it in Pakistan. Now we want to help them to rise and become global, become regional and exp engage themselves into exports and imports. So that is the agenda and that has brought us to this, to this task and we have organized, this is the academia organizing a business fair and exhibition to guide the young talent, to guide young minds, to, to electrify them and to amaze them with the possibilities that are, that are present all over the world. This is especially true if we look at the CPAC and we would we await for your more information and, and guidance to the youth as to how our youth should now turn their attention to the opportunities that they can seize because of a CPAC. And there are many other initiatives that are out there and we believe that it is the job of academia to turn human resources into human capital, human capital capable of seizing the opportunities, human capital capable of enhancing the exports of Pakistan. We feel that Pakistan has tremendous untapped export potential that is yet not being, that has yet not been capitalized. The population of Pakistan is 200 million, our GDP is 240 billion, and our exports are hovering around 20 to 25 billion. If you compare this with Sri Lanka, the population of Sri Lanka is 20 million. Its GDP is 60, uh, is 60 billion, and its exports with 20 million people are 20 billion plus. So you see how a country like Sri Lanka, which has also faced terrorism and many other challenges, which is similar to us, the same context, the same region, has turned itself into an export-oriented country and 20 million people are capable of exporting about $20 billion. And here we are 200 million, 10 times bigger than Sri Lanka, and yet our exports are just limited to about $20 billion. So where this, from where, this, if we were to grow to two, 10 times, where this $180 billion exports will come from, 
this 180 billion dollar export will come from you will come from the youth will come from those who are students now those who are taking up IT engineering and social sciences and those who are in business and administration so you have a chance to become billionaire you have a chance to become exporter a leading exporter and there is this vacancy there is this walkover that the chances that you can exploit you can take advantage of the unique position of Pakistan and you can become you can you should think of yourself and imagine yourself as a leading exporter in future and we I hope that this will bring prosperity to the country this will enhance our this will help us eradicate poverty this will enhance the status of Pakistan as a sixth populous country of the world we should also be the sixth most sixth leading exporter of the world we should also be the sixth highest uh, you know a country having the highest level of human capital in the world so we have a we have human resources we have tremendous possibilities now and this con the purpose and objective of this conference is to open your minds and eyes to these possibilities so that our academia and whatever goes on in classroom in seminar rooms in course outlines is aligned to this possibility that is the single most important objective that we have in our mind we are really pleased to welcome all those exhibitors who have come from abroad and also Pakistan we are very pleased to see the interest of diplomats of ambassadors of sponsors we are very pleased to see the interest of all the institutions uh, we are very pleased to see the interest of the provincial government Mia Shabazz Sharif was invited and he sent the Minister for Industries we invited the Federal Minister for Planning and Planning and Development and he's always there whenever we request him and he's always been supporter and this is his this is this is his vision that he can see coming through that young people young minds are now driven towards actualizing the vision that he has shared I thank you all once again and I would like to invite at this point the Federal Minister for Planning and Development and Reform Mr. Hassan Iqbal to share his vision with the faculty, students, exhibitors, business and industry in Pakistan.